Hey guys, we are out in front of your house right now. We are gonna do your pre-drywall meeting. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna turn it over to Rich. Hey, good morning. My name is Rich Beeman. I think we've already met, um, but congratulations again um, on your new home. Uh, we're gonna be doing the uh, pre-drywall walk through here, room by room. I was gonna point out some uh, functionality and parts and pieces and um, hopefully enjoy it. Thank you. All right, we are in the kitchen right now. So we're just gonna kind of point out some functionality, some parts, as you can see through the walls, uh, literally we'll point out some things um, in the walls, the floors and the ceiling, location of furnace, we'll go over that. So at this point, your kitchen, so you do have uh, two data lines, one in the kitchen, which is here, and then one in the living room with your uh, upgraded uh, flat TV screen option on this. As we come through, your dishwasher, will be hardwired. Um, clean outs throughout the house um, per code. And then of course, your uh, kitchen sink, you actually have your hot, your cold, and then we pre-plumb for a water softener. So this extra one right here will be underneath the sink um, for future operation on that. Garbage disposal, um, uh, standard outlet, and then of course your drain. Black pipe is all drained. Anything that goes through the roof, is going to be your vent um, on that. You have your plans, and then you got outlets and switches along the wall of your arch opening here. Um, two by four walls, and then two by six walls on the exterior on that. So this is your range wall, so your microwave, which actually has a plenum inside the wall. So you'll have a usable cabinet up here where your microwave plugs in right here in that cabinet. It does vent outside on that, so it will not ventilate inside. Um, we do actually add the, uh, the 220 for the range, but you're, you have the option of gas, so you will have a gas um, uh, range with an outlet. Through here, outlets, you will have a GFI splitting the kitchen, so a GFI looks very similar to this. This is a construction one. You'll get a brand new one at trim um, on that. So. GFI on one side, GFI on the other side, splitting the kitchen. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, your laundry room. So you're gonna have bifold doors, they'll come out here. Um, we'll have a light switch that turns on a light and then a fan for circulation in your washer and dryer. So your washer is gonna sit on the, the left side, your dryer on the right hand. We actually have a recessed dryer vent here. So it's really nice, you can actually utilize the full uh, amount of space and push that dryer all the way up against the wall without, without pinching that dryer line. Um, electrical 220, standard 110 for your washer. Um, you do have your hot, your cold, your washer box. This piece is another part of your water softener tie-in. So if you choose to install that in the, in the future, this is where it would drain into the washer box. Uh, again, you're going to see clean outs everywhere um, on that. And then we kind of just missed a little bit of your kitchen where your water tie in for your refrigerator is right here. And that, and then off to the right hand side, um, looking at it, you're going to have your pantry. So it'll be fixed um, shelving um, with a uh, standard door on it. You have um, lights that will actually turn on a light straight above us, which is your can light systems. Um, we'll kind of show you those um, as we go through the home. Okay, all right, we're gonna head into the master. All right, we're in your main bedroom. So we've got your two by four walls with your outlets located per code. Your exterior wall, again, is two by six um, out here. You do have a uh, return air filter. It's going to be a 14 by 14 right above you. There's going to be two locations in your home for filter um, maintenance. Off to this <clears throat> wall here, you're going to have your outlet and your cable uh, free wire right there uh, for your uh, TV system. You do have a slider window. Yes, we are still in winter. It did snow and ice out here. We're hoping that it's gonna go away on that. Um, uh, straight up here is your optional, um, what is it, a ceiling fan, pre-wire. Um, I don't know if it's pre-wired or not pre-wired. We'll look at the option. 
um, but it is fully functional all the way from the, uh, the bracket in the trusses to your switch, which will have your fan speed and your dimmer switch over here. All right, we're in our main bathroom. So as we walk in, we're gonna have a light switch to your right. You're gonna have fixed linen cabinet or linen shelves here on that. As we go through, you're gonna notice that we do have a frost-free hose bib loop right here. It's a water line all the way to the outside. So that's gonna be your location for one of your water um, hose bibs, um, AKA spigots. Um, but it is um, weatherproof or frost free so you won't need the goofy little cone on it um, on here that's what this loop is here you do have dual vanities so you have your hot and cold and your two separate drains going into one drain system your vent goes out the roof you do have a single light bar which i think has four um, little uh, cones on it and then of course you have your outlet here and an outlet here as we go closer, we have our upgraded optional 2030 obscure tempered window on that. Um, anything that opens will have full screen systems in um, at final. And then of course your toilet, your water supply, your green protected um, shower tub combo. Um, and then of course you have your fan for ventilation out here. This is conditioned, so you do have a um, outlet or a, a register up here um, on that. And then as we come through your closet, we'll have a light and we'll have an LED. Also, this one is conditioned, so you do have your heat duct slash AC uh, duct through here. You will have shelving and you'll have a dual um, shelf system in here um, on these walls. That's it. All right, we're in your guest bedroom. Um, a couple um, items on here to kind of point out is your primary condensation line for your AC, which is up in the attic. We're gonna show you that in a moment. Um, and then your secondary um, conduit that goes over the window for your drain pan. So if anything happens up there in that furnace system, this will be your secondary you run your AC, it drip drips just like your car does right here um, on that. This is super important to kind of understand. We don't want to be drilling or adding shelving right here um, and puncturing this on here. As we come through our standard outlets, you do have a bypass door system. So it's going to bypass um, and not be a bifold like your utility room. So these kind of slide back and forth and won't come outwards on that. Um, do have a standard uh, light. Anything above here is your smoke detectors. Anything in, in a room will be a smoke detector. Anything outside a room will be a smoke detector carbon monoxide combo. They are interlocked, hardwired, and battery backups. Perfect. So now we are in our guest bathroom, um, which as you come in, you got a light switch, turns on a light bar here. You do have a fan switch, which is a combo. Um, turns on the fan, there. And then of course your register for your heat and cool are coming in here too. Um, you do have your single vanity, hot and cold, toilet, shut off or a um, feed. And then of course your combo, uh, shower. Um, and that's it. All right, your second uh, guest bedroom. Um, a couple components in here to pay attention to is your hose bib, your next frost-free hose bib loop coming out here. So on the outside, that's gonna be where your second location is. Your line set for your AC system. So your AC system is gonna sit right on the other side of this wall, outside. So this is copper. This is very important not to drill into on that. We've got a protective two by four behind it. So anything from the outside, inside can't get to it. And then of course your power sitting right in here on this. Again, a slider window. Um, insulation, that's just extra right now, um, but it will be fully insulated on this two by six wall. Out, standard outlets. Um, second thing on this is your full water shutoff. It is not in the crawl, it is sitting right here. 
this will be in a cutout with a uh, just a face plate over it that just kind of pulls out uh, for anything uh, if you need to uh, shut that off during an emergency or vacation time. Your uh, open crawl system is about 18 inches deep. It does have engineered eye joints, which are these guys right here. So the profile looks like a capital I. Um, that allows this whole house to uh, settle as one unit on that. Um, full this queen, vapor barrier down in here. Um, myself and, and our team will make sure everything is cleaned up out here, down there um, on that. So no extra parts and pieces out here. And of course, it'll have a crawl. Um, it'll get carpeted and have a handle on it. That's it for this uh, nope. bedroom. All right. Flat t uh, TV pre-wire sitting here. So you have your full outlet, another outlet. Um, your data line, aka phone line, and a cable for your utility companies out, out in the uh, street. And then of course a conduit going through here um, for a uh, wireless area. Right? So we want to find the 2 by 4s set your TV up, plug and play, and you're good to go on that. As we come around, you'll have outlets and switches. We do have your ceiling fan set up in the trusses, wired. Again, it's gonna have its full functionality uh, sitting right here on your fan. So it'll have your speed switch and your dimmer switch right here. And then of course the lights will kind of run this. Um, you're half hot, so there's gonna be a switch right here that they're gonna run this one and that one, one side of that plug for floor lamps, Christmas trees, things like that. So the power for one of the legs will be off a switch right in here. Um, as we also look at, we've got your primary 20 by 20 um, furnace uh, filter sitting right in here. So it's a pre-filter. There is nothing at the unit itself for homeowner maintenance. So as you kind of look straight up in here, you can see the tail end of the furnace sitting on an engineered um, floor that's incorporated into the trusses. So it is the same floor that's down in here. T uh, tongue and groove, three quarter. That furnace sits on a drain pan, which is that secondary conduit that's going over the window over here. So if anything happens up there, um, any kind of moisture will leave the house um, on that. Right above us, we have our optional can lights in the dining room um, off of a switch. Again, you can see the duct work that kind of goes to each one. That is incorporated in our res check, um, our, our right soft program, which is a computer program that tells us what to do on, on the energy side of it um, on that. Um, dining room, of course, we have our slider with our extra concrete we will go out there um, in a moment and check on that extra concrete um, and that is it for your living room all right your entry hallway so you have your coat closet right here um, it's a two four door it will have a single shelf at the top with a closet rod to, where you can hang things you have your two fixed windows and of course, this is your real door. We'll get it painted um, the iron ore. So you do have the windows, um, deadbolt, and lock system. Um, beautiful thermatrue fiberglass door system. All right, we're gonna head into the garage. All right, inside your garage, we're gonna have, of course, your light switch to turn on the lights. You're gonna have your garage door functional button here opens up the garage door. This one right here is your um, doorbell transformer. It just gives power to the, uh, the uh, doorbell. Here is your pre-plumbed uh, water softener tie-in. So you'll have the drain, which goes to your washer box, and then of course a live loop right here that ties that in. You will get an extra outlet, which is active for this system if you choose to do that in the future. Of course, this is our manual J, which is our HVAC information. Um, we currently are passed through electrical um, HVAC. Today is going to be plumbing inspection, and then tomorrow will be, um, or Monday, will be framing inspection. And then we'll get into uh, insulation and drywall probably Monday or Tuesday on that. So here we we're going to have your water heater um, set up. Your gas line has already been tested course all your lines you're gonna have your 
uh, your flue, so basically your vent for your water heater tucked away so you don't run out over. As we come around here, you're going to have outlets. You do have your main gas line going to the home, which goes into your gas meter on the outside, fires it up. It is hard pipe and not that flexible pipe, so it's very, very strong and secure. All your data lines, these will actually be going push all the way through. We're doing actually siding today, which is exciting um, on that. But these are going to be um, your two phone lines and your two cables. And they'll go to the outside for your utility company. Um, congratulations, you've got all your rough-in inspections passed. Let me get into that, including um, electrical. So this is going to be a 200 amp breaker, so it's very expandable. Um, once all the breakers get into it at trim, we'll label them all on that stuff. So this is uh, um, just in the rough stage right now. Okay, we do have our um, photo cell for your, your garages or your garage door. Um, photo cells already wired up. It'll have the motor in it. Um, and of course, outlets on each side. And that's your garage. All right, it is cold, so we're gonna do this a little quick. So if you're coming out of your uh, your slider, you do have your extra concrete for your vision um, on that. So it kind of comes out and jogs. And then now you're getting, of course, we apologize for the still in construction. So we're doing our siding as we come through here. Watch your step time. Walkway, it's gonna get windy. And then, of course, your extra concrete, your extra outlet, and then, of course, your frost-free hose bib. Um, we will get this thing final graded, but again, it's still winter and cold. All right, you do have your fence line and your tie-in for your uh, pressurized irrigation system. Um, your fins are located and always will be located all the way through closing. That's the outside. All right, guys, that's the end of your pre-drywall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, we will see you guys next time you're in town. See you around. Bye.